Hello everybody, welcome back to the library. I'm Lara. So I haven't done any wrap-up videos this year yet because I have been wanting to do them differently. Some months I'll only read a couple of books and some months I'll read a lot. And especially the months that I would read a lot of books, I would hate doing wrap-ups for those because I felt like I didn't get enough time to talk about the books without making the video really long. So I decided I would do my wrap-ups a different way and I've seen some people do, the, do them this way before and that will be to do um, wrap-ups in five book sets. So I will do so like today's video, I'm going to do books one through five that I um, have read this year. And then the next video will be books six through 10 and so on and so on. So I just think this is gonna work better for me and I will be able to talk about the books a lot more, give some mini reviews um, without rushing through them. Plus I'm trying to get a little better at doing reviews um, because I've never really done any before and I'm not great about at writing them either on Goodreads So I'm gonna be trying to do more of that as well So anyways, um, let's just go ahead and get started This is my wrap-up for books one through five that I have read this year So the first book that I finished in 2019 was Broken Monsters by Lauren Bukes and I started this in mid-December and didn't finish it until January 2nd, so that's where I'm gonna count it. And I had heard great things about this book, that it's a mystery thriller with a little bit of a horror aspect aspect thrown, thrown in. And so that just sounded really interesting to me. I was in a really bad slump starting in October last year, and so I was just having hard, a hard time reading books. And I sampled the audiobook of this one and decided I would like it. So I did listen to this through my library on Libby. And I ended up giving this book three stars, which for me means it was just average. I enjoyed the ride of listening to it, but it is not a four or five star book. So it is not really a loved book or one I even liked enough that I would have it on my shelves. It was just meh basically so just to give you a little bit of a plot summary without any spoilers this is about a murder that has happened and this body is found one day and this is not a spoiler because this happens on the first page the body that is found is half of a boy and it has been attached to the bottom half of a deer and the police find go and are investigating this. Our main char character is um, Gabrielle Versado and so she is investigating this and so we get a little look into her life. Um, we also kind of get into the life of her daughter who is a teenager and is kind of dealing with her mom and her dad's divorce and them both being police officers and she might get involved with somebody um, online a predator so there's kind of that and then we have a couple other characters thrown in there that are little side characters so to me this book had really good writing I liked Lauren Bukes writing um, so that was not the issue with this my issues with this were that there wasn't really a mystery from the beginning you know who is doing these crimes um, it's very obvious and then it's basically telling you who's doing this and there's no problem with that like I have no issue with that except I was going into it thinking it would be more of a mystery thriller with a twist of finding out who it is and that's that's not what it is um I also felt like there were unnecessary characters and plot lines the daughter it was great to have part her in the story but I didn't really think that her part of the story with with her friend and um, this sexual predator online really really mattered I don't really understand why and then there's like two other side characters that come into the story and add something something on the side you're learning more about what's happening but I think we learned a there was a bit too much about them um, 
when we could have gotten just little glimpses, which is funny, you would think usually we didn't get enough, but I think there was too much. Um, and really, we didn't get enough of the main character. There was really no character development with her. We know she has a daughter. We know she's a police officer and um, that she's having a relationship with a different police officer. But that's about it. There's not really any in-depth going into who she is, why she is doing what she's doing. Uh, so those are really my main issues with the book. I also felt that it didn't know what genre it was trying to be and I have no problem with mixed genres like horror sci-fi mixes and stuff like that but to me this wanted to be a mystery thriller and a horror mixed all together at different times um, and I just it just really didn't stick with me I, I just really couldn't figure out what it wanted to be and also the ending just wasn't my favorite and I'm not really sure what happened again I've heard great things about this book so give it a try. Like I said, it has great writing. Uh, I don't know if I'll be checking out any more of her writing, but really go ahead and check it out or let me know what you thought about it because, hey, I'm definitely a minority in my thoughts about it. The next book I read was Gyo by Junji Ito, and this is a manga um, slash graphic novel. And Junji Ito is the one who wrote Uzumaki, which is about the creepy spirals in a town, um, which I have not read yet. I am hoping to read this year. I have read a couple of his other stories, like the, um, I think it's called The Mystery of Amigara Fault. I've read that several times, and that's like super creepy. But this one, this is about how fish and other sea animals start growing legs and basically take over the planet. And if that sounds weird, yeah, it was like super weird. The art is, as always with Jinji Ito and his horror mangas, it's super gross, super creepy. But to me, this just, I can't say it was over the top because that's what he's trying to do. But to me, this was just gross. It was just a gross out factor. And it didn't really, it didn't really creep me out. Um, I also gave this one three stars. And I think it's worth the read. Uh, just wasn't my favorite. Book three is Here by Richard McGuire. And this is also, this is a graphic novel um, that I read. And I gave this three stars as well. Uh, this is about a house that is in a certain spot, but throughout the book we're seeing that place, that house, that area throughout different times um, in history. So we see it from the beginning, um, from the world starting. We see when there were Native Americans on the land and what they did with it. We see colonial America on it. We see, um, we see up until present day. And so it's a really cool concept. It was really cool in that part. The art was really awesome. But I think I wanted there to be more of a story, which there really wasn't. It was just little glimpses of different times. And it, at one point I thought there was a story underneath it, which there may have been. Um, maybe I need to read it again, but I kind of wanted there to be an underlying story within each time period and that we would see those people grow and see what was going on. Overall, this is a really cool book and I think you should definitely check it out. It just wasn't my favorite. The fourth book that I read was The Girl from the Other Side by Nagabe and this is another manga slash graphic novel and I gave this five stars. Oh my gosh, I loved this. I can't remember where I first saw this, um, but I'm so glad that I did. So this is, I would say, kind of a children's horror graphic novel uh, because it's not like super scary. I would, I could see it being scary for children, but it wasn't scary as an adult, but it does have a little bit of a creepiness to it. The art is really cool. It's in black and white, but I just love the way it's kind of rough drawings. Um, if I can, I'll try to put it in here if I can, just a little glimpse of it. It's really, really cool though. Um, and the story is just something, as I wrote kind of the 
what my review on Goodreads says that it's a different story, but it's so similar to, you know, things you've read before. It's, you know, has this darkness and this light, good versus evil, but it's still a little bit different. Um, like I said, I really love this and I did continue on with it. I'll talk about the other um, volumes when I go on. This was volume one. I can't remember if I said that. Uh, but like the the adventure it's not really adventure but it's kind of a survival um other world story which is one of my favorite things to read about um to listen to and so i've loved this in novel form and graphic novel form this this was amazing please please check it out and the fifth book I read this year was Monster Volume 1 by Naoki Urasawa. This is another manga. I know it seems like that's all I did for these first five books except for the first one. But I was still trying to get out of my little rut um, reading Slump at this time. Um, and I gave this manga four stars and it was great. Uh, this is the story about a man... I forgot to write down his name, but he is a doctor and basically he ends up saving a child um, even who has been shot even though his boss told him not to and he ends up getting in trouble and while you would think that would be a good thing, it turns into something very bad. And this is like a compendium of a bunch of volumes. So this is like a big, a big volume of them. And I really enjoyed this. Like I said, not my favorite. Um, the, it was, it's a nice story, has really good art. Um, like I said, it's nothing particularly special. It's basically like any, um, any mystery thriller you might read, but it's also very solid in that sense that it's just very good. Um, I, there are several more volumes that my library has and I need to pick them up again to continue with this story because I, I did enjoy it and I want to see how it continues. So that was the wrap up of my first five books that I read in 2019. Sorry, this is kind of late. I'm going to be bulk recording these real quick so that I can get these out since I've read about 25 already, I believe. Um, this year. So yes, I really hope you enjoy. Please let me know if you've read any of these books um, and if you enjoyed them or if you all, if you didn't enjoy them. I'd love to hear your opinions. Please like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.